Hi, Geminis. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? This is the reading for March 29th through April 4th, 2021. And as you can tell, I fell hard. Uh, this past week, I went to Mexico with some of my family and friends. Well, actually, the friends are extended family. I consider them family. And I had a great time, but I, sl I slipped on a slippery floor. Because anytime you're in a beach area, they don't put carpet on the floor because you would just get sand all over it. In case you haven't ever been to a beach area. So, fell on my butt. Well, actually, on my face, not my butt. Anyway, I had a great time. It was because of COVID, everything's really cheap. And by the way, I had a negative COVID test because I'm back in the country, right? So, anyway, the first card I get for y'all is the hangman. And it's upside down, so turn it over. And the hangman says that you're kind of stuck. You're stuck in a holding pattern, kind of like an airplane. And you're going round and round and round. And it's just saying chill. So while you're in the holding pattern, what can you do to make it better? What can you do to learn from this time period, this waiting period? I, I would think that... Um, the biggest thing you could do is meditate, ground, and do whatever it is that spirit has been talking to you about. One of the things that I enjoyed Mexico about so much is I had some time to really reflect on some of my choices. And I am making some really good changes in my life. Oh, and by the way, I lost almost 10 pounds in Mexico because... As you know, I did a weight loss spell about not quite two months ago. Apparently, it's working. I'm I'm trying to only get weighed on the first of every month. But because I was going to an all-inclusive, I was very concerned about my weight. So, I got weighed before I left and I got weighed when I got back. Okay, the next card we get is the Knight of Pentacles. And this card says that there's something you need to learn, something study that can advance your career. And your or yourself to advance you where you need to be. Whatever you feel like you're in a holding pattern about, it's saying that you, there's something you need to learn. For example, I'm taking an Akashic Records class the 29th, 30th, and 1st of May. 29th and 30th of April, the 1st of May. So that, because I feel like that's one of the things I'm called to do. So what is it that you're called to do? Is it to take a yoga class? Is it to take an accounting class? Is it to take an Akashic Records class? What is it that you are called to do to learn and to grow? This is the Seven of Cups, and we're going to turn it over. And this card is saying, make a good choice. And I think that goes back to this card especially, that you are to choose what you are to learn. But make a good choice because here you've got this head coming out. You have a snake. You have an octopus. But you've got a wreath and you've got flowers and you have a castle or a crystal. So you can have good things or bad things come out of this. So you're going to have to make a good choice for you. Ultimately, if you make that good choice, you're going to get the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups says you're going to have everything come happen that's good for you. You can have a good life, make some money, things like that. It's going to come to fruition. So whatever it is that you're waiting for is going to happen. But you have to do the study and you have to make the good choice. Also, you get the Page of Swords and it's reversed. But this says that, first of all, there is somebody that's not what they seem in your life. And I think that they are interfering. And one of the reasons you might be kind of stuck is because they are actually getting in your way. It's like when you're walking against a wall, you can't go any further. Yet you've got this person is your wall. You have to get around them. Now I'm going to pull a card from the Earth Magic Oracle deck. And yes, it did go to Mexico with me. It says Dawn, New Beginnings. So I feel like that over the next several weeks that 
your stasis is going to be ending. You're going to be ending. The hangman is going to be slowing down. And you're going to know where you want to go. You're going to have this new beginning. It's going to be what you want it to be. But one of the things you have to do is purify yourself. To have the rain come down and purify who you are. And I think that goes back to this class or whatever it is you're supposed to be learning. Until you learn this lesson, you're not going to get to this card, the goodness. And finally, it says dance, celebrate. So as you're in this holding pattern, celebrate what you have. Find something to be thankful for. Sit down every day and write 10 things that you're happy with. One of the things I'm happy with is that this could wasn't worse. I could have broken my nose. I literally could have been killed. People died from slipping on the floor. And I'm very pleased. I wish the bruise had left before this video because I'm not wearing makeup because I kind of think it's pointless. <sighs> And so I'm in front of the whole world without makeup. That's horrible. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.